Hey everyone, I recently saw The Last House on the left. It opened in theaters on Friday, March 13th. Yeah, typical, huh? Anyway, here I am with my thoughts on it. Keep in mind, this review will probably contain some spoilers, but I'm going to try not to reveal anything major. We'll see how it goes. If I'm about to spoil something big, I'll give you all a warning. So, The Last House on the left. This was actually a remake of the 1972 film of the same name, which was directed by arguably one of the legends of horror, Wes Craven, who has directed several horror movies and was actually the creator of iconic horror figure Freddy Krueger. Now, while I didn't see the 1972 version, the commercials for the 2009 remake did spark my interest, so I saw it. Now, I'll just say right off the bat, it was pretty good. All the actors played their parts very well, especially Gary Dillahunt's portrayal of Krug. I really want to just kick his ass during this film. He played the bad guy so well, and I was rooting for Mary the whole time. The movie actually picked up pretty quickly, too. I was suspicious of Justin the entire time. Now, I won't spoil anything, but he just had a creepy vibe to him. Right here might be considered a bit of a spoiler, so people who don't want to be spoiled, mute your computers. I'll put up text to tell you when to unmute your computers. Alright, anyway, when Justin takes Paige and Mary to his motel room, I could just tell something, something was going to happen. When the gang arrived at the, the motel, I was just like, oh boy, something's going down. They played their roles to near perfection. Hell, I was even intimidated by them, and I was just watching, and I was just watching them. Paige was a pain in the ass in, in this part, so she got her head bashed into the sink for her troubles. Mary stayed calm, which I think is probably the best thing to do, given the circumstances. Alright, I'll mute your computers. The scene in the woods was also done pretty well, and of course the camera angles were a bit shaky, so it was a little difficult to see what was going on. I thought the way Mary's parents took care of her assassins without knowing what they did to their daughter was also pretty freaky. When Justin realized the couple was Mary's parents, his acting of being so shocked he felt sick was great. When the parents actually found out that he left Mary for dead, I loved how Justin immediately knew why they were there and just handed over the gun. The actual fighting sequences weren't that good to me. They just didn't feel very hate-driven. Not to mention John Stout with Krug followed the same old boring bad guy beats the ever-living shit out of the good guy until the good guy is saved routine. It wasn't bad, but it didn't live up to the hype I was expecting it to. The ending was also kind of lame. He blows up Krug's head so random and I wasn't a big fan of it. So overall, The Last House on the Left was a pretty enjoyable film. If you're worried about the film being too gory, you shouldn't really be too worried. Some people I know don't really like a lot of violence in movies, and for the type of movie this is, there really wasn't much gore in it. But I might be saying that just because I'm used to seeing gore in films, because horror movies are one of my favorite types of films. If you're not sure to see it because it might be too scary, you don't have anything to worry about. This isn't the kind of movie where a monster jumps into the frame to intentionally scare the shit out of the audience. But then again, I might be saying that just I'm used to seeing that kind of material. So what do I give this film? I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Pretty enjoyable film that just needs some tweaks and fixing in terms of the fights between Mary's parents and Krug's gang and the ending being lame. Go out and see it, I recommend it. My next video here on 1917 the second will be taking a look at the upcoming God of War 3 and the possible release of Manhunt 3. I'll be getting messages in my inbox asking one of my opinions about both, so I'll be making a video soon about it. Thanks for watching everybody.